Hello and welcome back to Ida's Corner. My name is Ita. Before I begin, I want to say thank you. Thank you to each of my subscribers. On July 15th, 2022, we finally got to 4,000 subscribers! All because of each one of you who took the time to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for your encouragements, for believing in me, and supporting this channel. This channel will not be where it is all because of each one of you. Indeed, you mean the world to me. Now, if you are new on this channel, please don't hesitate and subscribe. On this channel, I provide informative videos on the USCIS, the National Visa Center, and the US embassies. I also provide consultations if you are needing any help with your immigration application. My goal for this channel is for you to have a successful immigration process. In today's video, I will discuss the important steps that you need to take after you are documented qualified and ready for your immigrant visa interview date. Let's go ahead and take a look at the list of steps that you need to go through. Once the National Visa Center sends your case to the U.S. Embassy in your country, they will schedule your immigrant visa interview date. The U.S. Embassy will use the contact information that you provided on your DS-260 visa application form. They will contact the petitioner, the applicant, and if there is a lawyer on your case, he or she will be contacted. The embassy will also give you instructions of the list of things that needs to be done prior to your interview date. Let's take a look. You and each member are directive applicant applying for a visa with you are required to schedule a medical appointment with an authorized physician in the country where you will be interviewed. This exam must be with an embassy approved doctor, also referred to as the panel physician. Exams conducted by other physicians will not be accepted. You must complete your medical examination along with any required vaccinations before you schedule your visa interview date. I will list the website of where you need to go to for the U.S. embassies and the consulates for country specific medical examination instructions. So please visit the video description section for the list of U.S. embassies and consulates for country specific medical examination instructions. Now after your exam, the panel physician will either send the exam results directly 
to the embassy or give you a seal envelope. If the doctor give you an envelope, do not open it. Instead, bring it to your visa interview and give it to the consular officer. Step number three, you will need to register for courier services slash other pre-interview instructions. Now, I will list the website that you need to go on to select your country in the video description section. Okay, so you will go to the website that I listed in the video description section to select your country to sign up for courier services. Once you visit the website, you will need to select your country. It will then direct you to your country embassy website. For example, Nigeria will be www.ustraveldocs.com slash ng slash. So the last letter will be your country abbreviation. Now you will go on that website and create an account and register. Once you've done that, you need to go in, into the document delivery section. The embassy will list secure places to pick up your documents. Select your preference of where you would like to go to pick up your documents. You need to check this website frequently for updates. The embassy will also email and contact you to let you know that your documents are ready for pickup. Step number four, you will need to gather documents required for the interview. Every visa applicant, no matter their age, must bring certain documents to the interview, including photograph and original or certified copy version of all civil documents submitted to the National Visa Center. Failure to bring all required documents may cause delay or denial of the visa. You must bring the following documents to the interview. Appointment letter. This is the interview appointment letter you receive from the National Visa Center. Passport for each applicant. An unexpired passport valid for six months beyond the intended date of entry into the United States. Photograph. Two identical colored photographs for each applicant, which must meet the general photograph requirements. And lastly, you must bring your DS-260 confirmation page with supporting documents, original or certified copies of all civil documents you uploaded into SIEC. Also, if the petitioner or the person who is sponsoring you and they are on your affidavit of support form, they must file and update the tax return each year. So they must provide you with the most updated tax return. You will be expected to redo your affidavit of support form. So please be on the lookout. You also may or may not be informed that your police report must be updated. The U.S. Embassy will also, if you have not already known, your DS-260 visa application will expire within one year. 
Now, the U.S. Embassy is the only one who can reopen your DS-260 visa application so you can resign it because your DS-260 visa application expires within one year. Typically, you should have received an interview date within 90 days after being documentally approved. But because of the backlog, it is taking a much longer time. Your original documents will be returned to you when the interview has been completed. Any photocopies provided may be kept. English translations. If documents required English translation were sent to the National Visa Center, you must obtain them and present them on the day of your interview. For more information, please review the U.S. Embassy or Consulate interview preparation instructions. Visa fees. If your visa application fees were collected by the National Visa Center, you do not need to pay again. However, if you or any family member did not pay all the necessary fees, you will be asked to pay any unpaid fees at the U.S. Embassy or Consulate. Failure to appear for interview. If you cannot appear at your scheduled interview, contact the U.S. Embassy or Consulate as soon as possible. If you do not contact the U.S. Embassy or Consulate within one year of receiving your interview appointment letter, your case may be terminated and your immigrant visa petition cancelled. And any fees paid will not be refunded. My brothers and sisters, please, I beg you, do not cancel your immigrant visa interview date because you do not know when is the next available date. Take this date, your interview date, as a very important date, similar to getting married. Do everything in your power to be there. If you live far away, try your best to travel closer a day or two prior to your interview. Do not cancel. I hope the information that I provided in this video was beneficial to each one of you. If you have any questions, please schedule a consultation with me, send me an email, and you can always comment down below. Continue to be vigilant, consistent, and prayerful. And remember, everything will happen in God's timing. Be sure to visit my store website for my latest merchandise and use the discount code that I listed for a 15% discount. Thank you in advance for your support. Before I go, ensure that you subscribe, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. Thank you for watching Eda's Corner and I'll see you next time. Bye now.